All right, welcome back. Miscellaneous Monday here. Uh, you see from Todd's video, I'm going to be talking NFL. I want to talk Antonio Brown. I want to get that idiot out of the way so he doesn't ruin my video tomorrow. He's put my man Tom down, so let's jump into it. Like I said, first, I want to talk NBA. I've not talked NBA on here in a while. It's a new year. NBA is starting to, going to slowly heat up. Um, some great storylines here. The Lakers are 19-19 there. Currently the seventh seed in the West. Um, look, Lakers. LeBron isn't 28 anymore. He's now 37. And this guy is averaging 28.5 points, 7.5 rebounds, and 6.6 .6 assists. This guy's playing like he's 15. Like, it is fucking crazy. They're leaning on a 37-year-old. Look, I love LeBron. One of my favorite players of all time. But he cannot consistently continue to do this. Russ Westbrook's most overrated basketball player I've ever seen in my life. I've never liked Russ Westbrook as a player on the court because he doesn't give you wins. He loses you games. And it's all about, oh, triple-double, triple-double, stat, stat, stat. I don't give a shit about that. I want to win fucking games. I would much rather take a guy that averages five points, six assists, uh, eight rebounds. And if he's giving me wins, can you know... I'll fucking take that every day. Russell Westbrook is a fucking liability. The Lakers brought him in just to get him to the regular season. And he can't even fucking do that. I wouldn't be surprised if they fucking trade him. Because he is god awful. Like I said, he's probably the most overrated NBA player of all time. Of all time. He is god awful. And he doesn't play well with LeBron. He just sucks. Anthony Davis ain't it either. Like, look, he cannot stay healthy. He is a little bitch on the floor. Um, it's just, it's terrible. The Lakers are doomed. They are fucking doomed. So I expect them to do drastic, drastic things in the trade deadline. I mean, other than that, I mean, I don't think that they're going to win anything. I don't think, I don't even have them potentially making out of the first round with this fucking old squad that leans on a great LeBron, but he's 37 years old. If LeBron was 28, but like, he can pitch this shit together and fix it. He ain't that age anymore, bro. He's not that age. Um, Golden State and the Suns, they're going to run the West. They're 1-2 and two right now. Um, I think Golden State has seven losses. Suns have eight. They're neck and neck. I, I think those two are on a, con on a collision course for the West. Um, Golden State hasn't got Klay Thompson back. He's slowly going to come back. They've been really, really good. They have. The West is going to run through Phoenix or Golden State. And that's pretty much that. I mean, I kind of missed out. I thought the Nuggets would play a little bit better and they'd be higher up. But, you know, there's still time. But I think as I look at it right now, Golden State and Phoenix are just on a collision course to match up in the West. Uh, the Bulls lead in uh, the East right now. They're 24-10. and 10. Really good what they've done. Uh, adding pieces from last year with the uh, Nutovich trade, whatever his name is, right? For the fucking... Center, I think his name's Nutovich, or I don't even know. My, I'm fucking botching that name. I don't give a fuck, right? Uh, they've done really well. DeMar DeRozan, Lonzo Ball, Zach Levine, they've done very well. But Kyrie Irving is set to return for the Nets only in away games. Can't play home games because he's not vaccinated. Um, but that's going to give them a boost. They are 23 and 11 right now. If the Nets get the number one seed in the East, Katie's the MVP because of what he's had to deal with. with Fucking Kyrie, James Harden, all this shit. He gets them number one seed. They're winning the West. I mean, they're winning the East. Number one seed in the East, he's winning the MVP. Jesus, my mind's fucking all over the place. Right? I can't even talk right now. This is why I haven't talked NBA in years, it feels like. What am I doing today? Journalist, Big J Journalism. Fucking phone, sit up. This is what I do. Um, like I said, I mean, that's just pretty much how... NBA's looking at, I think, you know, we're kind of looking at maybe Bulls, Nets. I, I think we're looking at kind of chalk in the NBA playoffs here. As of right now, January 3rd. Looking at it. All right. Now, let me move on to the fucking idiot in the room. The guy that's ego is bigger than Shaq's dick. Um, this guy's retarded. Uh, Antonio Brown walks off the field yesterday versus the Jets. Uh, the Bucks were losing at that point. And they ended up winning. So this is pretty much, it's been a he said, she said kind of conversation. But this is from Ian Rappaport, NFL Network. I believe Ian Rappaport. Um, he, basically, this is what he said. Bruce Arians told AB to go in. AB refused. 
He told him multiple times to go in. A.B. refused because he believed his ankle was worse than what the team believed it to be. I guess he was out of practice uh, two days last week because of his ankle. Uh, but he played in the game, mind you. Mind you, he played uh, earlier in the game. But he was told to go in, and he refused. Three times refusal. So Bruce Sanders told him, get the fuck off the field then. Fucking leave. We don't need you. And so he proceeded to take his pads off, took his undershirt off, took his gloves off, and then fucking did one of these ugly fucking dances off the field. The What, what would have made this story a thousand times better, security thought he was a fucking fan that ran out of the field. I wish security would have pummeled him because he's a fucking idiot. This guy is retarded. Like, this guy is fucking all over the place. Um, he was a couple receptions off, a couple yards off, uh, one touchdown away from getting a million dollar bonus. Some people say, well, that's why he got pissy because they wouldn't let him in the game. They fucking told him to get in the game. This guy's an idiot. Like, if my ankle's bummed up, I don't give a fuck. A million dollars, I get a couple of these things. Dog, shut up. I'd fucking bum it up a little bit. This guy's retarded. Um, funny thing is he had to take an Uber um, back from the stadium. This guy's, that's what he deserves because he's a retard. He is a fucking retard. Um, there's a video of him in the Uber, and he's just like, yeah, yeah, this guy has mental problems. This guy is stupid, bipolar, and his ego is bigger than Shaq's dick. I mean, this guy is dumb. Uh, he's making my man, uh, TB, look bad. Um, Tom has vouched for this guy a thousand fucking times through everything this guy's gone through. And Tom's been in right step of the way, and now makes Tom look like an idiot. I'm not a big fan of that. The real idea here is Antonio Brown. This guy is done in the NFL. Um, he just is. I mean, this guy is too big to overcome his problems. Um, this is going to hurt his NFL uh, Hall of Fame chances. Um, some people believe that he was a Hall of Famer. I believe he was a Hall of Famer. Um, but I think this hurts him now. I mean, he is just the fake backs card and all that shit. If he just he always gets he always fucks himself up like he always gets in in the way of himself. Like had it really good in Pittsburgh was dominant and got pissy because Juju Smith Schuster was the most valuable player that year, so it gets all pissy. Fucking basically burns his fucking toes so he gets out of the Raiders, and then fucking gets to the Patriots with Tom and then fucks that up there too. Only played a game. And through all that, Tom's like, you know what? I'll bring you down to Tampa Bay. Wins a fucking Super Bowl and plays very well for him in the playoffs. And then this year, it's like, dude, what the fuck? Like, this guy's an idiot. I hate talking about stupid people um, because they're just retarded. Like, people like that, just you don't want to punch them in the face because you're like, dude, if I had your fucking life, I'd be dominant. I would shut my fucking mouth and I'd play football. Like I said, his ego is bigger than Chat's dick, and you can't overcome it. His NFL career is over. That's why I want to talk about him today, because I don't want to ruin my NFL video tomorrow. I'm talking about a fucking idiot. So, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I mean, a fucking idiot. Any guy that is retarded enough to walk off the field on a team that's really good won the Super Bowl last year, and to make my guy TB12 look bad, fucking fighting him. If I saw Antonio Brown, I'd fight him. The guy's an idiot. He ended through. Tom Brady couldn't fix stupid. That's it. Thanks for watching.